These six aren't correct because this one has a solid line in the front. Or it, it, you can see the top and the bottom. You cannot see the top and the bottom of a cup at the same time. That, that's not possible. That one, no. This one has a full circle at the top. You can only see the full circle when you're looking directly down at the cup. It's not possible to see the sides of the cup and the top of the cup at the same time. So you have to make sure that you have an ellipsis. Notice that when I turn this cup, it changes from a circle to an oval. And when it comes together like an almond shape, like this, that's an ellipsis. So an ellipsis can be several different proportions, but it's not going to be a circle. Okay, so let's draw our opaque cylinder. So come over to this side first and super focus up one, two, three. You're going to start with a frown and then a smile. That's your ellipsis. Go ahead and draw your ellipsis. A frown and a smile. And then two parallel vertical lines. One, two. Then a curved smile at the bottom. Curve line, smile, concave. I'll do that one more time over here. You make your frown, your smile, your two parallel vertical lines, and another curved line. Hey, the transparent cylinder, exactly the same. It's exactly the same, except we also have a dotted line indicating that you can see through the cylinder. So these three are correct. These are not correct. This one has the ellipsis way too big at the top. This one, the ellipsis is straight across. This one, the ellipsis is straight across at the bottom. This one, the smile or the curved concave line at the bottom, it's straight. It's just horizontal. This one, again, you can see through. You can see the top and the bottom of the cup at the same time? No. No, no, no. That no work. And this one is more like a pinch pot. Okay, so we're going to draw, I'm going to do that one more time. A frown, a smile, two parallel vertical lines, a smile, and then this time you're going to do a frown as a dotted line. Like so. So a frown, a smile, two parallel vertical lines, another smile, and a dotted or dashed frown. Okay, pyramid. Again, we're going to go over to the opaque pyramid first. And for the opaque pyramid, this one's correct. These are not correct. This one's organic. This one, sort of organic, sort of geometric. This one is more of a wedge shape. It's, it's a form, but it's not really a pyramid. And this one is not even a form. This one doesn't even give the illusion of a form. It's just two triangles stuck together. So we're going to make a triangle a di and two diagonal lines. On the right hand side where it says opaque pyramid, make a triangle. Go ahead, make a triangle. There's Wilson. Wilson wants to get in the shot. Wilson, go, go. Then make a diagonal line and a second diagonal line. Ta da! Do that again here. It's a triangle and two diagonal lines. Don't make those lines horizontal. Two diagonal lines. One last time, just for fun. Triangle and two diagonal lines. Like so.
Our next one is a transparent pyramid. So this time you're going to do it exactly the same way. What I want you to notice is this diagonal line here is parallel to this diagonal line and about, I tried to get it as close to the same length and it's dotted. This horizontal line is, dot, is parallel to this horizontal line and then this line is vertical. So, what's wrong with this one is this is a horizontal line right here. That doesn't work. This would work if this were just a wire pyramid, but if, if we're trying to make a transparent, say, glass pyramid, there would still be a little bit more of a, a different line quality to the one in back. This one should be dotted through there. And this one is not really a pyramid as much as a three-dimensional triangle. So it, it would just have depth. So this doesn't work either. So we're going to start with, on the left-hand side, transparent pyramid. Start with a triangle. And then two diagonal lines. One and two. Make sure that line's not horizontal. And then a dotted line, horizontal, parallel to this, a little bit shorter than this because it's going to be further back, and a diagonal pair line to this, and then a vertical line up to that top point. Do it again here. It's a triangle. And two diagonal lines, a horizontal dotted line parallel to this one. I made that kind of go up a little bit. And a diagonal dotted line parallel to this one. And then a vertical line up. Mine's a little bit off. That line should be down a little bit. Now on the test, you have a choice. You could do opaque or transparent on any one of these. You don't have to do the, the transparent ones. If you want to do a mix, some transparent, some opaque, it's all good. Alright, next we have a cone. I'm going to do the opaque cone first. These are all correct. They're all different sizes, but they're all cones. What they have in common is they have an ellipsis at the top, and then just two diagonal lines. This is not correct because the ellipsis is too big. This one is not correct because you cannot see the top of the cone and the sides of the cone at the same time. No, no. That's more like a really sad ice cream cone. This one, the lines just don't match up. This one's not far enough up. This one's too far. And this one, it doesn't match up and it gets sloppy at the bottom. I want you to try to make a nut, uh, not try, I want you to make a nice crisp corner there at the end. Okay, so this one is on the right hand side, lower right hand side. Start with making your ellipsis, and you can make it any size direction you want to, and then your V. That's it. That's an opic cone. One more time. An ellipsis, doesn't matter which direction the ellipsis is going, and a V. An ellipsis and a V. Cone. And the last one is a transparent cone. Now these cones, we're going to draw them, I do want you to draw them a certain direction. I want you to make it look like it's an upside down cone on a table that's transparent, that's glass. So this one, you're going to make an ellipsis, but one of the lines is going to be dotted, and it's the line that's going to be on top. This, the ellipsis is too big. This one looks like you're looking from underneath into like a paper hat, like this might be a darker value in through here but it doesn't look like a transparent it doesn't look like a transparent cone and this one again it 
you can't see the top and the sides of a cone at the same time. It's just not possible. So you're going to start with, let's start with your V, your upside down V this time, two diagonal lines. Then make a smile. And then make a dotted or dashed frown. Remember a line going like upside down like a frown is convex. A line like a smile is concave. Okie dokie. Finish your page on form. Make sure that you do a really good job in getting your parallel lines. Shade in your sphere. Make sure it's a nice gradual change from dark to light. Make sure that you have on your transparent sphere, make sure that the lines match. You've got two lines going across horizontally curved, two vertically curved, one dotted, one solid in each direction. Transparent cylinder has the, uh, has the dotted frown. The transparent pyramid Make sure that you have the back dotted and also with the transparent cone. All right.